when I, you know, time went on and I wrestled in ECW and did the honors on the way out the door and blah, 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 blah. Then I debuted at the Royal Rumble at Madison Square Garden against Kurt Angle. I was Kurt's mystery opponent. Kurt was undefeated. On my way to the garden, because I only live about 45 minutes from the garden, I was driving to the garden. I was, as you can imagine, so excited to debut for World Wrestling Entertainment for the McMahons in my hometown arena of Madison Square Garden. I mean, the arena. You know what I mean? Very nervous and very excited and a lot of emotions just flying through my body. And I'm on my way. I'm on the Long Island Expressway getting ready to come through the Midtown Tunnel go to the garden. I take my cell phone. I call Paul Heyman. I've never told this story publicly. And I said, Paul, what's Taz? He goes, what's going on? Now, we hadn't spoken for a long time. you know. I go, I, I'm assuming you know where I'm going right now. He goes, I thought you'd be there by now. He goes, you're going to the garden. you know. I said, yeah. And uh, he goes, congratulations. He goes, I know that means a lot to you. I said, yeah, it does. You know, it's choking me up right now because I've always had three goals my, when I first started wrestling. And they were, I've always wanted to just make a living as a wrestler. Didn't matter how much money I was making. I just loved it and I wanted to make a living. Second, I wanted to hold any kind of championship at least once in my career, any kind. Because it meant that the company put stock in you that you could hold a championship. And it didn't matter what type of championship, anyone. And the third was I always wanted to wrestle at Master Square Garden. Just one time. And I figured while I was in ECW and everything was going great, well, two out of the three goals aren't bad. Because I knew working for, for ECW, I'd never get to work at the Garden. But then when I left ECW and I knew I was going to debut for the WWE at the Garden, I'm like, geez, my goals have been completed. You know what I mean? And anyway, uh, Paul uh, says, I know it's important to you that you're going to wrestle at the Garden. He goes, I'm proud of you and I'm happy for you. And, I, you know, He's like, well, well, what are, he said, why'd you call? And I said, uh, <sighs> I said, I just wanted your blessing. You know, and he gave it to me. He said, kick ass, you're gonna. So, you know, it was just, God, I talk about a guilt trip, you know. I felt so guilty, you know. I felt good, but I felt guilty, you know. That seems like ages ago. But crying. <laughs> just, you know, it. <clears throat> when you are. Uh, When you learn so much from someone and you respect someone so much, then you have a bad fallout with them. And people pass judgment on you and you're the bad guy, you're the sellout, which is a crock of shit. You know, and then you call a, call a guy and he supports you. Now, then I start second guessing myself, you know. And I told Paul that and he talked me out of it. So don't do that. He's a very misunderstood guy. I've said things about Paul when I'm angry at him. Not in a long time, I haven't. Behind his back. And I'm sure he said things behind my back. I mean, people do that. But I know how much ECW meant to Paul was his life. It wasn't just something he loved. It wasn't just something he worked so hard for. It was his life. No girlfriend, no wife, no close friends. Just people that worked for him were his closest friend. That was his family. And I cannot begin to tell you how much he cared and the passion he had to the likes of Vince McMahon sacrificing and Linda McMahon sacrificing what they did here to bring WrestleMania 1 
to the forefront, you know? The sacrifices Vince, same as the sacrifices Heyman did. Vince just happened to go all the way and was successful with it. And I think Paul was a success too. I definitely think Paul was a success. What should it end it different from? Because when I left there, I was in the WWE. I was so concentrated and focused on being a WWE guy. I knew I had this history in this past, but I needed to move on with my career. And Paul knew that, and he told me that, and I knew it anyway. You know, you can't look back. you got to go forward. And I started to do that, but I would keep an eye on ECW, and I wanted them to succeed so bad. I swear I did, you know. And I think they did succeed. Just wish it would have went a little longer for them.